Aortic valve stenosis is a condition in which the aortic valve is narrowed. The aortic valve is located between your heart's main pumping chamber, the left ventricle, and the major artery, the aorta, that carries blood to your body. The stenosis is caused by valve leaflets that are thickened, or calcified, and fused. The view from above shows the valve opening is smaller than normal. The diseased leaflets cannot move correctly, resulting in poor blood flow through the valve, which causes pressure to build in the left ventricle. If not treated, this condition can damage or weaken the heart muscle over time. Symptoms may include shortness of breath, extreme progressive fatigue, weakness, lightheadedness and dizziness when walking or standing, abnormal swelling in the legs and abdomen, and difficulty breathing due to fluid retention in the lungs. An echocardiogram, or cardiac ultrasound, is a diagnostic test that uses sound waves to view structures of the beating heart, such as the chambers or valves. A device called a transducer is placed on the chest wall, and sound waves are transformed into images and video which are used to evaluate your heart's function and visualize structural details. Blood flow is recorded with a technique called color Doppler. The echocardiogram shows the strength of the heart muscle squeeze and if any of your heart valves are too tight, stenotic, or too leaky, regurgitation. This information helps your physician choose an appropriate treatment. Transcatheter aortic valve replacement, or TAVR, is a treatment for aortic valve stenosis, which is a narrowing of the aortic valve, as shown here. The stenosis is caused by valve leaflets that are thickened or calcified and fused. The view from above shows the valve opening is smaller than normal. The diseased leaflets cannot move correctly, resulting in poor blood flow through the valve and causing pressure to build in the left ventricle. This can damage or weaken the heart muscle over time. A 3D CT scan is performed in advance to help plan and map out the procedure. During the procedure, a guide wire is inserted through a small incision, usually into an artery of the leg, advanced to the aorta, and passed through the stenotic valve. A special catheter that contains a collapsed replacement valve is then inserted. Once the physician has the new valve positioned correctly within the diseased valve, the heart is sometimes paced. Pacing makes the heart beat so fast it cannot pump blood for a few seconds, thereby allowing safe and effective valve deployment. To deploy the valve, two techniques are commonly used. In one, the catheter is pulled back and the valve expands into place, and in the other, a balloon expands the valve. After valve expansion, pacing is turned off and the heart beats normally. With a new heart valve working properly, the catheter and guide wire are then removed, and blood flows freely out of the heart. Although the transcatheter aortic valve replacement, or TAVR, procedure is safe, there are some risks to be aware of when considering a TAVR. In a TAVR procedure, a special catheter that contains a collapsed replacement valve is inserted. Note that the openings to the coronary arteries are close to this area, and blocking these openings is a risk. Once the physician has the new valve positioned correctly within the diseased valve, the heart is paced. Note that the heart's electrical system is close to this area, and interfering with normal beating of the heart is a risk. Depending on your specific medical condition, there may be some risks not listed here. Leaking around the valve, damage to blood vessels, bleeding needing a blood transfusion, infection, emergency open-heart surgery, electrical problem requiring a pacemaker, kidney damage from contrast dye, heart attack, stroke, death. Ask your healthcare team for more details. MedMovie. 
creator of the HX Heart app, an easy to use visual storytelling tool for healthcare professionals at the point of care with images, video, and 3D models. MedMovie, powerful visuals for health and medicine.